All right, what have we got? How good is it? I'll let you know when I find out. Now let me know when you find out. That's what you told me half an hour ago. This takes time. I've got to clean it down before I test it. If you think you can do it any faster, go ahead. Take all the time in the world you need. So your shipment's the same quality as sitting on a gold mine, man. Good. When can you start? As soon as you deliver the pencil. Mm -hmm. someone's willing to pay for a commodity varies with how much of it's around or how badly they want it. I can understand that. What I don't understand is when this equation is applied to cocaine. Then too often the price exceeds the value and most often it's paid in human blood. You here already? How come you seem to arrive here before we do these days? I don't know. I guess we got more intelligence than you do. My, my. It's a heartbreaker. Six months work down the tubes. You know, a couple days I'd had Tito Fernandez pelt hanging from my wall. Now I got nothing. Hey, you got us. Hey, thanks, Jambone. I'd rather have nothing, huh? Uh, Brian Jambone, this Teniente Gomez from the Columbia Narcotics Bureau. He's cooperating with me on this case. Well, your people must want this Fernandez character pretty badly for them to send you all the way up here. They're very anxious to see him brought to justice, Detective. Well, we'll see if we can help you do that. Hey, Jambone. In case you didn't notice, this is a coke lab. That makes it my turf, intende. Well, this body's going on out of here makes it our turf, so don't play games with us. I ain't gonna play no games as long as you give me my elbow room, okay? Why are you so sure this Fernandez was involved? I recognize a couple of bikers got capped. He's run with the dragons. Bikers? Yup. Moved uptown. From distribution to production to a slab downtown. Anyway, these two bikers have been hanging with Tito since he fell through town a couple months ago. Wait a minute. Can you tell me a story about this guy? Yeah, hey, that's Lupo. Was the best chemist in town. I guess, uh, Tito was gonna use him to cook up his latest shipment. Was gonna. How do you know he hasn't already done it? Most of the equipment was clean. It seems that he was just cooking up some samples. So that means the rest of the junk is still on the loose. Yeah. And that means junk is still raw. Ain't a whole lot of marker for coke base. Guess so. Uh, Tito's gonna be a busy boy trying to replace Lupo. Any idea who the shooters were? <laughs> Take a wild guess. A guy like Tito's got more enemies than friends. Well, that's great. You know, that is just great. We could be looking at a full-fledged gang war here. Maybe. Right now, I'm just concerned with shutting down that Aspen factory. Gang wars? That's you guys' turf. Y'all have a nice day, yeah? Uh -huh. Good night. Hi. Who sides that guy on? His own, Frank. Found a lot of that. Report back from ballistics yet? Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Forensics double check the findings because the initial report said that everyone in the room was killed by the same type of weapon. Nine millimeter automatic, maybe Uzi's. Ah, oh, Uzi's. Great, great. Everyone's new favorite weapon. Was it had to get here sooner or later? Lieutenant, that was forensics. They said all the slugs came from the same weapon. They don't think one guy did all that damage. That's what the man said. Well, that makes it a lot easier then, doesn't it? All we have to do now is just put out an APB off Rambo. 
Well, what'd you get from Jefferson? Yeah, well, he said that two of the victims were old bikers, and they're working for some big-time coke dealer named Tito Fernandez. You know, check out the street, see what you can find out about the guy. Friends, enemies, whatever. Right. Oh, and, uh, Kevin, if it does turn out that we really are looking for Rambo, call for some backup, okay? Kevin, you see what I see? What? Where? Now, pull over. Can you believe this? Hot dogs dipped in deep, dark Swiss chocolate. Choco, Choco dogs. dogs. There you go, man. Huh? On the house. Choco dogs? What are you hey, doing guys. here? Huh? Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> What's it look like I'm trying to do? I'm trying to turn a buck here, man. Yeah, well, if your pals side. find out, they'll turn you inside out. Oh, well, thank you, Jambo. This is the kind of wonderful greeting I get. Nice to see you guys, too, man. Listen, what the hell was I supposed to do in that town, huh? There was no business up there. I had to come back. You call uh, Choco Dogs a business? All right, it's not a big business, but uh, they're great. You want one? No, 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 no. no, no. You're counting on uh, some people having very short memories, aren't you? Huh? Hey, look, man, you just gotta do me a big favor, okay? I need the bread. You keep those guys in jail, and I'll be all right. I'm going to lay low. Right, Don't worry well, about since it. Since you're in the neighborhood, you mind doing us a little uh, favor? Favor? Forget it, man. What do you keep coming to me? Oh, forget it. This is how I got in trouble last time. Oh, well, we're helping Cheeto you. Cheeto Fernandez. Ring any bell? Hey, this man is the biggest coke guy in town, OK? But he doesn't call me up to buy a choco dog here, that's for sure. Well, who does he call? Huh? Oh, like I have a list just waiting here, Jambo. Give me a break. The guy hangs out at a restaurant named Raymond's. That's all I know. Raymond? Raymond's. Why do I have all the information? You guys have no information. Thank you. You know, listen, if you really cared about your body, you wouldn't be eating that crap, Whitey. I don't eat the hot dogs, man. I just suck the chocolate off. Makes you kind of wonder if we're sitting on the wrong side of the fence, huh? Right now, Tito's probably kicked back for the night, sipping some champagne. We out here sucking up cold coffee. The coffee's not as much of a problem as it is the waiting. I figure first thing we gotta do is check out them bikers. We gotta be real careful with them guys. Well, that's one difference between your country and mine. Down there, I break down the door and then see who talks. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it don't work that way up here. You start breaking down doors, you ain't gonna find a whole lot of people doing any talking. That's another difference between our countries. How they feel about talking matters very little. They talk just the same. Lesson number two. Them punks got more rights than we do. You start going upside heads, you're gonna be the one going down. Those detectives we met tonight, you trust them? Jambone O'Brien? Much as I trust anybody? Why? Where I come from. A budge is no guarantee of honor. Yeah, well, we got problems here, too. Bottom line is, one cop covers another one's bacon. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I just keep forgetting the value people still hold here for a human life. I don't think we need a reservation. Everybody needs a reservation on Monday night. Yeah, we'll get Mel. You'll be closed on Tuesday. He's in the kitchen. It can't be disturbed. Don't worry. We'll make our own way. over a hot saucepan. Why? Someone did a serious redecorating job on Tito Fernandez's drug lab tonight. I 
didn't know Mr. Fernandez was in the pharmaceutical business. If you're right, I'm very sorry to hear that. It's always upsetting when uh, an acquaintance suffers a business loss. From what we hear, he's a little more than an acquaintance. I've become very close with a lot of the people who eat here. So you probably know who's trying to take over his business. I'm in the restaurant business. What's your first name? Detective. <laughs> if you want to know what Mr. Fernandez's business is, why don't you go and ask him? You intend to. Oh, by the way, I make a delicious cannelloni. Why don't you two drop by for a supper sometime? Oh, that's nice. It's nice. It's nice to be cared about. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be sure to be back. One of the key. Thank you. Ciao. You want me to say, Mel? I don't know why it happened. You must have some damn idea who that cowboy was. No. I won't find out, Mel. You get all the help you need. The shipment is too important to play games with. No, Mel. I don't need your help. I'll clean up my mess. I said I'll clean up my mess. I'll clean up my mess. All right. I hope so, Tito. You'll miss your delivery schedule, and that will be a mess. Nobody will be able to clean up. Tito just eats there. Oh, come on. There's got to be a hell of a lot more between those two guys and a couple of plates of pasta. Do you think he made the hit? Well, the word on the street is they're still thick. But there's no honor amongst thieves or dealers. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would do any good to bring them in for questioning? With the legal talent Raymond has got on staff, we'd not get him near his front door. So where does that leave us? When we get back on the street, we got to get another line on Tito. Yeah, well, ain't that just like you, O'Brien? Always just looking to do things oh, butt backwards, huh? Well, Jefferson, you got a better idea? We are all ears. Yeah, well, you remember I told you I recognized them two heavies of Tito's? Well, Gomez and I have been doing some snooping around, and it turns out that they never really officially retired from the motorcycle club. The way I figure, Tito and them in bed, pretty cozy. Y'all might want to check it out. So how come you're sharing this with us, Jefferson? Maybe he suddenly learned the virtue of cooperation. Amen. Tito and I have crossed paths before in Colombia, Lieutenant. I explained to Detective Jefferson how dangerous he is. What makes you think he's thick with bikers? Well, he's sitting on a whole shipment of raw junk. He just lost his cook most of his muscle. He's gonna have to do some fast tap dancing to get help, and I'm gonna be all over him when he does. Well, it sounds like busting up those bikers is a very good idea for you. Anything in it for us? Yeah, and the more you find out about his friends, the more you find out about his enemies. And one of his enemies just left a whole bunch of bodies all over your casebook. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. But when we make house calls, we call the shots. It's fine by me. Patch and D call the shots over there, though. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mm. I don't know if I like it. The only thing worse than dealing with Jefferson when he's being difficult is dealing with Jefferson when he's being friendly. You just keep your eye on the silverware for any. Kevin, if you're gonna call on those bikers, I want you to have backup. Make sure you get some vests on. What's going on? Pay a little call on those bikers. 
We gotta talk, man. Hey, man, I said we gotta talk. If you want to talk, I'd be talking. It's about Tito. He's looking for some new people. Not now. I want to do it. You have a room, Captain Man. The club needs you. We'll send somebody we can spare. I said I want to do it. I said forget it. If you want to do any more talking, we'll do it outside. What the hell do you want? It's about some of your friends that were involved in a shooting this evening. Wayne Champion and Kenneth Rankin. Yeah, well, we haven't seen either of them for a couple of months. What'd they do? They were shot to death in a cocaine lab. Well, if you gotta do it, that's the place to go. That's funny. Maybe you guys did some of the shooting, huh? Bet you're the type of guy who really gets a kick out of turning his pals on, huh? <laughs> We're gonna have to continue this conversation downtown. I'm gonna run the number through records. When you got a moment, drop that off to ballistics and get them to do a workup on it. You got it. Thanks. I don't know which is worse, not having coffee or drinking this stuff. Well, I know you, and not having it is still worse. Right. Well, what do we got here? Two members of the Dragons. Possession of an unregistered firearm. Well, we want to see a lawyer. Yeah, I'm sure he's dying to see you two. Come on. Christine, let's see what we got on records on those two. You want him booked? You hold off on the booking. The more background information we got on these guys, the easier it'll be to talk to them. Let them stew for a while. And if that doesn't work, make them drink some of this coffee. You're getting real good at that. Yeah, you just keep that up. Boy, I think that Nicky could find you a job when you retire. <laughs> when he retires? I doubt he'll still own his bar when he retires. I doubt if there'll be bars, period, when he retires. When I retire, I'm gonna be doing something a little more glamorous. Maybe a sailboat and cruising in the sun. Well, I better warn the Coast Guard. <laughs> Alert. Hi. Hey, you got something about that gun? Nothing. It's clean. It was bought over the counter at a sporting goods store. Don't they make a check on people before they sell them a gun? Well, they need to check out as much as in their wallet, Tom, you know that? Mm -hmm. Well, fine pretty lady, fine mid-south. What a guy, huh? <laughs> uh, Nicky, Tommy, I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Gomez, who's with Colombian Narcotics. Hi. And Jefferson, you know. Yeah, hi, Dave. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You get finer every time I see you. Wish I could say the same about your old man. <laughs> That's enough flattery, Jefferson. No, it isn't. You got something on your mind, assuming you have a mind? Yeah. Step this way. So, Lieutenant, what's it like down there? It's difficult at times. Just difficult? We get the impression that the drug barons are running everything. Well, you know very well where people here get that impression, don't you, Mr. King? That's you there, Tom. Well, it can't be all the fault of the media. I heard y'all reeled in a couple of dragons. What you get? Nothing. Yet. How'd you make out on your end? You know. I know one thing, though. Tito's still looking for a chemist. Yeah? And so? I want to answer the one ad. You think Tito's just gonna let you walk in off the street and start cooking his junk? Hey, if I walk in there with a dragon, why not? That's where we come in. Yeah. All you gotta do is free up one of them chumps you got down there and lock up. All we gotta do? 
Those guys have spent their whole lives with cops on their backs. So what the hell makes you think we're gonna be able to turn them? Lighten up, Jambone. I got faith in you guys. You're my heroes. <laughs> now, Frankie, if he's willing to put himself in the lion's den, the least we can do is help him with the gate. People go about their business. Must just run on time. Sometimes. People buy bread and wine and make love, just like any place else. Well, it's not just like any place else. 80% of the cocaine in the world comes from your country. It's so easy for you to cast my people as the villains. Most of them can barely afford to feed their families. It is your people who create a market for scum like Tito. You're trying to cast us as the villains. Neither of us are villains as people, only victims. Sounds like war. It is a very personal war for me. My family had a small farm, quite successful in the old days. Now they're broke. All the labor is up in the hills, harvesting the coca. And all the money ends up in the hands of the drug bearer. Must be very frustrating. Occasionally, we make some headway. But there's always a price to pay. You seem to be surviving pretty well. A year ago, Fernandez had a bomb place in my car. But I wasn't there when it exploded. Lucky. Unfortunately, my wife was not so lucky. She was driving the children to school that day, you see. William Deke Zachary. He's got two convictions for weapons offenses, one for armed robbery and a handful of drug busts. Anything outstanding? No, he's been off parole for less than a year. Well, it's gonna be pretty hard to get him on a concealed weapons charge. If he went to trial, he'd do his six months and come out smiling. Yeah, well, the other guy's a bit more interesting. John Apache Smith. John Smith? Come on. Somebody's <laughs> gotta have the name. Anyway, listen, uh, the usual history, drugs, beanie, armed robbery, but he's also sitting on three open warrants, Vancouver, Seattle, and Detroit. Vancouver people want him in connection with a gang rape. Charming. Well, well, well. Looks like we may have ourselves a contestant for Let's Make a Deal. I hope it wouldn't be considered prying if I were to ask exactly what kind of deal you're proposing to make. With the bikers? These wouldn't be the bikers that were brought in on a weapons charge and for resisting arrest, would they? The same bikers that have been held for most of the evening without being formally charged? Elaine, these sweethearts had a pistol. We're running it through ballistics before we book them. Kevin, I think a weapons charge is fairly important, and I, for one, would like to see these men taken off the street. But when the first I hear of a case is their lawyer beating down my door wanting to know why their client hasn't been charged, then my ability to take these guys off the street is severely compromised. We are investigating a multiple homicide. These men have information that we need. What you people don't need. seem to understand is that by working behind my back, you endanger your case and mine. If these guys walk because you haven't covered the bases, then we're all out of luck. Now, that being said, why don't you bring me up to speed, and then we'll see what kind of deal we can get. It's risky to meet with Tito alone and unarmed. Yeah, well, that's why they pay me top dollar, pal. No police force pays enough for you to risk your life. Maybe yes, maybe no. A man's got to do what a man's got to do, you know what I mean? I did once. I haven't seen either of the guys for two months. How many times am I going to have to tell you? Until you get it right. We know they were still connected to the dragons. We know they worked for Tito. We want to know who had it in for them. I never heard of the guy. That's not what I heard. I heard that you and Tito and Raymond were real good friends. Look, where's my lawyer? I don't have to listen to this crap. Yes, you have to listen to this crap, and you have to listen good, because we're only going to tell it to you once. We want to be real nice to you. Real nice to you, Apache. Want to help you out. Offer you a deal. Maybe save you some grief. You think I'm going to make a deal with you over some two-bit gun charge? Who said anything about a gun charge? Apache, there's a few people in Vancouver who are very interested in talking to you about a girl that you raped. You and your friends beat her so bad that she had to spend six months in a hospital. Hope you're not planning on doing anything for the next few years. Yeah, you know damn well they got the guy who did that. Yeah, yeah. And now we got the other guy. Oh, you 
can't pin that on me. You don't think we can? I do. Yeah, I think those people in Vancouver would be real interested in talking with him. Well, I can't say we didn't try. That deal you're talking about. You help us, we help you. I'm not gonna do nothing to hurt the club. And I'm not gonna roll over on anybody. We don't care about the club. We want Tito Fernandez. And whoever it was who killed those people in his lab. I don't know who killed him. Even he don't know. Well, that's what we want you to help us with. Because we want to take Tito down. I told you I'm not going to roll over on anybody. Well, we don't want that. No, we just want you to provide us with a little introduction. Tito needs a new chemist. You're going to give him one. What do you think my life will be worth when they find out what I did? I don't know. What do you think it would be worth when we get you to Vancouver? How'd it go? Oh, we're gonna cut him loose. You can tell their lawyers they can come out to play. You went for it? All the way. Pat, you're gonna set up a meet with Tito. You trust this man? Not at all. But then it's not my plan. You better be damn careful. You mess up and uh, we'll have to find ourselves another chemist. No, damn it! No more time! You said you were gonna take care of this. Somebody waltzes in and kills your people and you tell me you don't even know who the hell did it. And now you tell me that you can't deliver because you can't find a chemist. Now I'll find a cook. Just give me one more day, you have my word. You'll have your merchandise. I know I will. Or you'll wish you stayed with your friends in that warehouse. See, man, them cops never laid a glove on us. We just walk. Yeah, we just walk. Hey, we're out. What's with you? Nothing. I just don't like the smell of this place. Now let's get out of here. You coming or what? Yeah. Sure. Colby, Carson, see if you can keep an eye on our friend. Sir. What now? We wait. If Apache sets the meat, we're on. If not, it's back to the drawing board. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no drawing board if this don't work. There ain't gonna be no case. And Tito and his whole ship will go up and smoke like they didn't never exist. And we're gonna have to make sure we get it right. Anything? He's still in there. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to talk with your mouth full? Sure she did. She also said not to hang around with bad company and stay up all night. But I guess you can't do everything your mama tell you, huh? No. Your turn. Don't get mail on the camera. Right. Mm. Camera down, camera down. Think that's Fernandez? I don't know, but whoever he is, if he's visiting them, he's worth having a picture of. Boss, oh, man, how you doing? Good, I see you redecorated. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Mm -hmm. You said you had something for me, what's up? Chemist. Found your chemist, man. Who, where is he? Some time. If you want to set up a meet, he said he'd be interested. 
Is he a good cook? He's a cook. We did time together in Seattle. I'm gonna meet him. Anytime you're ready to go. How don't you know when I'm ready? Oh, by the way, this guy, he, he you know the junkie is. He's cool. Good, because I want him to clear when I'm ready. cool. about this guy before. He just hit town. I didn't know if he'd be interested. Did you come out with Raymond? I checked him out with Raymond. Hey. That's good enough. Hey. Sure, man. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. What's up for you when this is all over? I left a lot of unfinished business back at home to come down here and track Tito. Speaking of unfinished business, we're still sitting on a lot of homicides. Tito's far more important than that scum. Well, up here, we try not to let our murderers run around, Gomez, no matter who they have killed. I just got these back from the lab. Thought you might want to take a look. The guy stopped by the Dragon's Clubhouse. Might not be connected, but we thought it was worth a shot or two. That's him. Fernandez. What happened? Nothing much. He was in and out in a couple of minutes. That's long enough to set up a meet. O'Brien, Jefferson, that's Apache on line 84. I think we're in business. O'Brien? Yeah, I did what you asked. The meet's set for 34th and Lake Shore in two hours. All right, that's the setup. I'll be on my bike. Your man meets me. Tito takes it from there. I got it. No, Brian. Tito's real jumpy. You and you guys better play this quiet or you're gonna get both of us off. Understood. cars on standby to cover the entire area, so if Tito tries to move, we'll be on top of him. Kevin, you and Frankie cover 34 north. Colby, Carson, Christine set up about a block south. I want those radio lines kept clear at all times. And above all, maintain visual contact with Jefferson. Now, the first thing those guys are gonna do are gonna check you for a wire, so you gotta go in there clean. If we lose them, even for a minute, could be a headache. Teniente, you're welcome to come along, but I have to ask you to remain outside. Thank you, Lieutenant, but I wouldn't want to get in the way of your operation. Hey, we wouldn't be nowhere without you, buddy. Might as well come on and take a look. I'd be honored to join you. David. I just want to wish you luck. <laughs> Might need it. Yeah. Remember, Tito's a killer. He killed my wife. He'll gladly kill you if he has a chance. If you get the chance, kill him first. I don't like you guys hanging around. Not good for my image. Oh, you got more than your image to worry about. Suddenly, out of the blue, Apache comes up with some cook for Tito. I ask him about it, he nearly jumps down my throat. And about an hour later, he leaves the clubhouse to make some kind of secret phone call. Who the hell is this cook? I don't know. Maybe he's the guy who hit Tito's lab. I want you to go over to Tito's lab. Tell him what you just told me. And if it checks out, 
take care of the situation permanently. Is here. Can you sound of Jefferson? Nothing so far. Kevin. Now, good old Dave's here. Right, get ready, everybody, get ready. Gangs are here. Where do we go? I don't know. Wait. Looks like we don't wait too long, huh? Okay, they've gone inside. Give them a couple minutes, and then we'll go. All units, wait for my okay. what my mom says. That's kind of funny. Everybody I spoke to have never heard of you. Yeah, I've been traveling. Been away for a long time. A while. Had a nice trip. Yeah, food wasn't so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's usually a problem. everything you need. Now, oh, it's long enough. Hmm? All right. Somebody's coming. Another biker. Yes, you're a doctor, you tell me. Hmm. Ah, okay. Let's not just get a go answer the phone. I'll be right back. Well, you know what you're doing. I just hope my friends know what they're doing. Darts, I think it would be better if you stayed right here. Okay. And you better roll real soon. Mm. I don't think so. What do you mean? You sure as hell didn't come here to cook cocaine, did you? Who are you? What the hell's this? You know, you know what this is? You know what's gonna happen when they hit that table? The whole place is gonna go sky high. You, your junk, everything. He's bluffing. Bluffing? Then call it punk. The way I see it, I wasn't gonna be walking out of here anyway. What do you want? Back off. Walk away, leave the junk. Back off, walk away, and leave the junk.
you think you're doing? You tried to kill me. That's a damn lie. You just killed an unarmed man. He wasn't a man. He was a pig. You killed the other ones, too, didn't you? They were pigs also. They won't hurt innocent people anymore. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over your gun, Gomez. drugs. It's an uphill battle because only one side has to play by the rules. Tonight, two drug lords were put out of business, and that should be a success in anybody's book, unless you examine how it was achieved. When one of our side throws away the rule book, everyone loses. It didn't have to end like this. I did what I managed to do. You have to get yourself jammed up over a slime like Tito. Wasn't worth it. It was worth it to me. You all right? Yeah, I guess. Well, you couldn't have known. Nobody could have. I brought them to you. It's my job to know. You play the same kind of game, you know? You dog the same kind of creeps. Kind of makes you wonder we're gonna wind up like him someday. Not if you don't let yourself. Why don't you get some sleep? I'll tell Hogan he'll get the paperwork. Mañana. 